मूवी रिव्यू नेटफ्लिक्स द किसिंग बूथ थ्री गेट्स रफ फर्स्ट रिव्यूज फॉर फाइनल मूवी ऑफ सीरीज नेटफ्लिक्स द किसिंग बूथ थ्री लुक्स टू बी ऑफ टू अ रफ स्टार्ट एज इट्स फर्स्ट रिव्यूज हैव कम इन द थ्री क्वेल्व टू द स्ट्रीमिंग सर्विसेज टीन रोमकॉम स्टारिंग जोई किंग जाकोब एलोडी एंड जोएल कटनी अराइव टूडे इलेवेंथ ऑगस्ट As much as fans might want the series to go out on a high, the early response hasn't been kind. It's worth noting though that the previous two movies weren't exactly beloved by critics either, with The Kissing Booth and The Kissing Booth to getting 15% and 27% respectively on Rotten Tomatoes. The third movie stands at 20% after 5 reviews but won't get an official rating until more reviews come in. The Kissing Booth 3 revisits the love triangle between Elle, Joey King, No, Jacob Elodie, and Marco, Taylor's Kharpares, as they spend one last summer together before heading off to university. Elle has some big decisions to make. Will she follow No to university or follow her heart to study in New York and revisit her connection with Marco? We are intrigued by the conflict. but critics don't seem to be quite as thrilled with early reviews ranging from calling the kissing booth three lackluster last in the pecking order and forgettable the kissing booth franchise has staked out a strange corner of netflix increasingly crowded teen romcom landscape offering something like a mirror universe inverse of the far superior to all the boys trilogy which also ended this year while the fans who made the kissing booth Such an algorithmic hit will presumably feel a nostalgic pull at seeing its characters ride off into the sunset. Parting won't be such sweet sorrow for everyone else. Traditional studios ceded teen skewing romantic comedies to Netflix years ago. For every franchise winner like to all the boys, there is something like The Kissing Booth, another beloved book series, a hip young cast, scenic locales, that waste them with shoddy unfocused filmmaking the kissing booth three cluttered screenplay with zero humor by wins marcelo who is also the director and j arnold is a massive disappointment because they truly had so much to play with including a good looking talented ensemble of actors but instead we are left dazed and confused like l While the kissing booth 3 is being billed as the conclusion of the franchise, Joey King won't be leaving your Netflix queues because she has signed a huge new development deal with the streamer. The kissing booth 3 is out now on Netflix. Okay, please support by subscribing to our channel and clicking the like button. See you in the next video.